Finally, Heyin, being true to her feelings, tells the truth about what she felt to Yan Wu. Hearing her, Yan Wu quickly comes to her and hugs her. After that, Yan Wu, together with Heyin, goes back to Yan Wu's family house. Meanwhile, without them knowing that Yan Wu has found Heyin, Yan Wu's family is still outside looking for her. Knowing how everyone cares about her, Heyin will be happy, but pretend to be cool about it. After they take a shower, Yan Wu helps Heyin dry her hair, making Heyin's heart race as Yan Wu's hand touches her cheek to prevent the hot air from the hairdryer. After that, Yan Wu treats Heyin's knee as he sees she got injured before. While talking to Heyin about her condition, suddenly Yan Wu gets closer to Heyin and she closes her eyes because she thinks Yan Wu wants to kiss her. However, it seems their moment will be ruined by Yan Wu's sibling, calling them to have dinner. Pretending nothing happened, Heyin confidently praises herself as she is welcomed by everyone, thinking everyone there likes her. After that, it seems Heyin wants to visit Yongdu Ri supermarket. That's why Yan Wu asks her, is that really what you want? So they go to Yongdu Ri supermarket. While waiting outside, Heyin experiences another symptom that makes her feel the lights going off one by one, and she feels the darkness alone. However, she will be fine as Yan Wu is beside her. Knowing Heyin's health seems to become worse, they decide to return to Seoul the next day. Before that, at night, Heyin and Yan Wu will sleep together in Yongdu Ri for the first time after a long time. Looking at the couple, Yan Wu's mother warns his sister not to ever mention the divorce. The next morning, as they prepare to leave, Heyin's clothes, which were previously dirty, have been washed and cleaned. As they are about to leave, suddenly a grandma tells Yan Wu that divorce is nothing because she wants to get a divorce too. The band word is being said in front of Heyin and Yan Wu's family, making the situation worse as they are flustered, causing Heyin, who didn't know anything, to grasp the situation. Meaning Yan Wu is ever considering divorce. That's why there seems to be a tense air within them while they are in the car. This tension continues when they arrive at their house. Even though Heyin sees how Yan Wu got drenched while trying to cover her with the umbrella, she gets angry because she thinks Yan Wu is feeling guilty for thinking about divorce. That's why she went ahead. The situation gets worse when Eun Song appears, making Heyin go with him over Yan Wu. This situation makes Eun Song realize that there is something between Heyin and Yan Wu. However, Heyin's decision might also come to protect Yan Wu from the rain. After that, Yan Wu sees Heyin with Eun Song being close with Eun Song putting his hand on Heyin's shoulder again. This happens when Heyin is going to meet Eun Song for work, but she suddenly experiences symptoms from her disease again. Looking at Heyin, who couldn't move, Eun Song helps her leave work so she can rest. Since she is still upset towards Yan Wu, when he cares for her, she rejects his kindness by saying, don't mind me, and leaves. Seeing Heyin, Yan Wu realizes that she is sick since she looks pale, so, he decides to leave for work and ask about her condition. But Heyin keeps rejecting him until his eyes are red, and Yan Wu decides to leave her alone, as he understands why Heyin is like that. However, Yan Wu breaks into tears after holding it. He cries because he is sad that Heyin is being cold towards him. On the other hand, Su Chol is trying to push his resort business with the help of Unsung. Eun Song has decided to help Su Chol with the investment, probably because he has something up his sleeve, as it seems he wants to take control of the Queen's group by using the Queen's stocks as collateral. That's why Su Chol comes to Yan Wu and tells him, no matter how hard you try, Hong Su Chol will always be the heir. Listening to him, Yan Wu is able to ask Su Chol about why he suddenly mentions it. Learning that Eun Song has decided to help Su Chol, there is something that disturbs Yan Wu. So he quickly goes and tells Heyin, I don't want you to be close to Eun Song. Yan Wu then quickly leaves. In the meantime, realizing her condition is getting worse, Heyin goes to check her condition. The doctor tells her that her white blood cell count is too low. Because of it, Heyin decides to contact one of the best cancer centers in Europe. She then goes alone to find a way to treat her disease. Meanwhile, Knowing Heyin will leave the country alone to treat her disease, Yan Wu is upset and angry with her, telling her, 
so I should be by your side at times like this. As the center mentioned before that they want to do clinical treatments on her, she goes to get tested in the hospital there. However, based on the result, Hein is told that it is difficult to treat her disease. That's why Hein looks sad and depressed. She even declares that she will find a way to treat her disease, even if she has to search the world, she will find a way to live. However, at times like this, she always remembers Yan Wu and decides to text him, I wanted you to be by my side. Yan Wu, who decided to spend his time alone, happens to read Hein's text when he is on his phone. Because of it, he decides to go to where Hein is. When Hein is alone, Yan Wu appears from the stairs. He comes to demand what Hein promised him before. That she would never make him cry. Seeing Yan Wu in front of her, Hein quickly hugs him as she really missed him. Starting from there, Yan Wu accompanies Hein to find treatment. While going together, Hein witnesses how Yan Wu becomes interested in other women who pass by them, and she quickly interrupts, mentioning that he is married and gets angry at him. Since they have been to the place three years ago, it seems like their love for each other will grow again as they remember the moments, especially the time when Yan Wu told her that she is the only woman he loves. While spending time there, Yan Wu gives Hein a gift with a four leaf clover symbol in it, which is considered a good luck symbol. It's like Yan Wu is hoping for a miracle to save her. That's why Hein feels touched when she receives it. While walking side by side, their hands keep touching each other, but it feels awkward for them to suddenly hold hands, hoping for Hein to initiate a change to hold Yan Wu's hand again. Stay tuned for the next episodes to witness Hein and Yan Wu rebuild their relationship as they embark on their journey to treat Hein's illness. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.